We're seeing this roller coaster weather and what it may mean for spring. I was delighted to walk outside on Tuesday. Not so happy with this weather right now, though. It's a sight you'll see several times throughout a Minnesota winter. Crashes and spinouts, along with jackknife semis and vehicles in the ditch. That's how Friday morning was across much of the state. A section of I-94 was even closed between Moorhead and Fergus Falls. It didn't take long <laughs> for, for everything to pretty much ice up if it wasn't chemically treated. Mike Griesinger is with the National Weather Service. Like most of us, he enjoyed a fake spring earlier this week when temperatures reached the 40s. But here we are inching towards sub-zero cold yet again. It's been a strange up and down pattern, and Mike has a name for it. I would summarize it as a typical La Nina winter. He says La Nina winters happen a couple times a decade. They're driven by a ridge of high pressure over the Pacific Ocean that stretches east. Those times where it kind of pushed east, we got into that Pacific air, the really mild temperatures and highs. You know, we got our good, we had a, at least one good thaw in January where that happened. And then once that retreats back west, it opens up the northwest flow and and uh, the Arctic. <laughs> That's led to inconsistent precipitation throughout the season. Coming off one of the worst drought years on record, there are questions about what this winter's snowfall could mean for spring. This La Nina winter has led to above average snowfall up north, average snowfall in the central part of the state, and below average snow in the southeast. More snow could mean better soil moisture in the spring, but more precipitation between now and April will be key. You're always most susceptible to drought when you're coming out of drought because <laughs> you still have those long-term deficits that are kind of baked into the system. We are uh, still in a, in a bit of a drought pattern. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The National Weather Service also says that rains late last summer and fall did help to get things somewhat back to normal. However, the state will need more snow this winter or a lot more rain this spring to get completely back on track. Today we are hearing from